Thomas Alive to Die presents Woodward and Lothrop. Samuel Walter Woodward and Alvin Mason Lothrop opened a dry goods store in Chelsea, Massachusetts in 1873 and maintained several stores in the Boston area. In partnership with Charles Cochran on February 8, 1880 they moved to Washington. For many years their department store would sponsor a Founders Day sale in early February to commemorate the move. Woodward Lothrop Pan Cochran opened at 705 Market Space now the United States Navy Memorial at the intersection of Pennsylvania Avenue and 7th Street NW in Washington D.C.S. Downtown Shopping District. The first store was so successful that within a year they moved to a larger location at 921 Pennsylvania Avenue. After flooding in 1886 they moved again to the corner of 11th and F Streets NW. Woodward and Lothrop purchased Cochran's share of the partnership and the new store was renamed Woodward and Lothrop. Both Woodward and Lothrop became active in civic life. Woodward for instance became president of the Washington City YMCA in 1898 and donated significant sums of money for the renovation of its facilities. In addition Woodward's daughter and heir Helen and her husband Luke Ingalls Wilson later donated the bulk of the acreage of their Bethesda estate for the formation of the National Institutes of Health. After Wilson's death from cancer Helen was instrumental in the creation of the National Cancer Institute. The store they founded itself became a fixture. The Woodward and Lothrop toy department introduced two phenomena to the American public. Harold and John Porter who comprised the Porter Chemical Company of Hagerstown, Maryland began manufacturing chemistry sets in 1916. Woodward and Lothrop became the first major retailer to offer them for sale and ChemCraft kits soon appeared at other retailers in the country. In the 1920s Woodward and Lothrop boasted at least 67 retail departments as well as a travel agency theater infirmary merry-go-round and traveling art exhibits. According to one customer Woody's was truly part of the social fabric, part department store restaurant and showcase for talent shows. Proper young ladies from schools such as Bryn Mawr Stevens Vassar Radcliffe and M.T. Holyoke would troop into Woody's for their spring and summer frocks to wear at weekend dances. In the 1950s the wife of a Woodward and Lothrop buyer saw a demonstration of Play-Doh modeling clay at an educational convention. This led to a successful in-store demo and the sale of Play-Doh in WNL stores and soon in toy departments throughout the United States. Slush mugs which made smoothie-like slush drinks out of soda or fruit juice when frozen was a Woody's specialty in the 1970s. Woody's expanded into suburban shopping malls after World War II but the owning families resisted expansion by amalgamation and the chain grew slowly. It became a target of takeover attempts in the 1980s resisting a leveraged buyout by Ronald Barron in February 1984 but accepting a $277 million bid later that year from Detroit shopping center mogul A. Alfred Taubman. But Taubman had incurred substantial debt during his 80s acquisitions which included the Philadelphia-based Wanamaker's department stores in 1986 as well as Sotheby's auction house and various properties. The early 1990s recession while historically mild disproportionately impacted real estate and department store retail. The greater Washington area was also affected by sharp reductions in defense spending after the end of the Cold War leading to a loss of consumer confidence. Woodward and Lothrop Incorporated filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on January 18, 1994 with $608 million in total assets and $659 million in total liabilities. Drastic cost-cutting and increased sales figures did not return the firm to profitability however and the chain including its John Wanamaker subsidiary was liquidated. On June 21, 1995 seven of the remaining Woodward and Lothrop locations were sold to J.C. Penney and the rest plus the Wanamaker's locations were sold to May Department Stores Company. By November 1995 all Woody's stores had completed liquidation sales and were permanently closed. 
There's something better than a pot of gold at Woodward and Lothrop. It's a store full of savings. 15 to 50 percent savings throughout every Woody's store during Woody's anniversary sale. Savings on spring fresh fashions for you, your home, and your family. Skirts, suits, dresses, shoes, sheets, tables, and TVs. They're all at 15 to 50 percent savings right now during the anniversary sale at Woodward and Lothrop. Where the rainbow ends and the savings begin. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.